Voting for Collaboration. Welcome to the second newscast about this new initiative and its evolving website in which you are invited to participate. I am Peter Challen. But that said, the first interdisciplinary group that started this 2015 Constitutionalists initiative quickly discovered that a vital first step in collaboration is to agree that nothing is impossible if you don't mind who gets the credit. As an African saying puts it, because we are, I am. We are in this together. 400 years ago, someone started an essay with this telling witticism. A fly sat upon the axle of a racing chariot and said, What a dust do I create! The essay was on vain glory. We might say hubris or conceit. Human arrogance, most strongly expressed through hierarchies and the exercise of institutionalized power plays, is a tendency we all have to guard against in our present culture. So, let me lead you towards a simple but embracing idea, that of inclusive justice. When the complexities of both political and economic activities present such confusion, how can we look forward with confidence that improvement is possible, that inclusive justice can be achieved? We are offering a bold possibility, a possibility in which the vote placed by every citizen can bear new weight in a joint enterprise. This week, the new cabinet proposed that some big cities could choose to take on more local decision-making. That's a small but significant first step in joint enterprise. Thinking of decisions being made at appropriate levels, the word we use is subsidiarity. It is already on the lips of many positive activists in their conversations about human dignity and identity. The joint enterprise we are developing is between our four nations, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Think of them interacting together with dignity and mutual recognition, with growing trust and confidence. Part of the SNP's remarkable appeal lies in the warm use of such human sensitivities. Related to that thought, another word we use is confederation. On July the 11th, we are convening a wide discussion about the meaning and practice of that concept, confederation. More of that next week. Think of another word which is also in more current use, devolution. That is what those earlier words I emphasized are all about. Think of restoring confidence throughout our four nations. The idea we are developing is of a citizen's or people's political economy of trusteeship, an interactive attitude in which all citizens and their nations feel involved in learning to trust each other. Savour that strong phrase, combining as it does all forms of governance and all economic activities, a people's political economy of trusteeship. Now I come to the great leap forward. Think of a political life beyond the adversarial party system. Think of a parliament of independent, non-partisan candidates, each and all representing through their votes the vision of inclusive justice which is expressed in our Charter. Such persons also maturing in the art of governance through participation as they oversee a living, written constitution. Think of the present House of Lords becoming a constitutional parliament to oversee that all the enactments of the House of Commons act out within the relevant parts of that inclusive constitution. That, then, is an outline of a people's political economy of trusteeship that works for everyone, 
and protects the earth. Four nations in which every one of us respects governance set in mutual accountability for inclusive justice. All the major issues that we tend to isolate as the most urgent, the NHS, just wages, education above training, immigration, 500 pounds added to the train driver's annual wage, etc., will all find a place and a role, a way to tackle them in an everyday people's political economy of trusteeship, as is governed in the way proposed by 2015 constitutionalists. We know that palliative action means caring for the dying. That should never be neglected for individuals or for systems. But we also know that curative means correcting the very foundations of the problem, individual or systematic. That also should never be neglected. Our collaborative interdisciplinary participants have identified seven foundations in the current political economy that are not fit for the purpose of inclusive justice. So in this initiative, we are wrestling with the nature of those foundations and have models you can explore and develop with us. It is work in progress. Next week, Ray Sheath will report on a significant May the 21st discussion in Glasgow on Confederation, where the 2015 Constitutionalists Initiative will be reported and perhaps examined. The Scots are in the mood. Here, then, I've tried to give the heart of the challenge that we want this website to become. It needs your help. We need you and your participation. So please, five practicalities. If you'd like to edit a section of the website, we are having a training session on May the 27th from 10 till 12 noon. Make a habit of listening and responding to this nascent newscast progression every Monday. Visit the website regularly and suggest improvements. Sign in to be kept in touch and as your channel for participation and contribution. Feed us with ideas, or report your active applications that contribute to inclusive justice. With the world's greatest mountain suffering massive tectonic shifts, let me leave you with a poignant poem by one of our collaborators in this bold initiative of 2015 Constitutionalists. The Wrong Mountain There was a man who could have been any of us, and probably is, who, after a long, arduous ascent, full of grit and sacrifice, glanced back across the horizon, only to realize that he had climbed the wrong mountain. Until next Monday, then, thank you for listening. <laughs>